Hello, this video is for anyone who wants to set up their Windows PC to sign in automatically without having to enter a username or password. So let's get straight to it. I've actually got two Windows accounts here. One is a Microsoft online account and the other one is just a regular local user account. So today I'm just going to test this with the online account. Now the online account has actually got a pin number associated to it just to make it a little bit easier to sign in. I'm just going to enter the pin number, but now I want to set my PC up to sign in automatically. So I'm just going to go up to a browser and we're going to download a utility called Sys Internals Auto Logon. And it's a Microsoft utility, so it should be one of the first search results in the list. And we're currently at version 3.10 and we've got a little download link here. I'm just going to click on that to download it. It's a pretty small file, so it shouldn't take too long to download and it actually downloads as a zip file. So we can open that zip file and you can either extract that to a folder on your PC or just copy the file to the desktop. Now, there's three different versions of the file here and they're all for different versions of Windows. So you just need to pick the one which is relevant for you. And the first one, just to explain quickly, is for 32-bit or 64-bit versions of Windows. The second one is just for 64-bit versions of Windows. And the one that's got an A on the end, that's for ARM editions of Windows. So usually it's going to be probably one of the first two. So pick the one that's relevant for you. Now, I'm actually going to copy it to my desktop. I want to run this again in the future but you can literally put it anywhere on your PC and you don't have to install this utility we're just going to run it to enter some credentials so let's close this window out of the way just double click the file to run it and then because it's the first time we've run the utility that we just need to agree to the license agreement and then it presents us with this very simple uh, credentials box where we need to enter our username, the computer name and the password for the account for the user account that you want to automatically sign in with. Now it automatically defaults to the user that you're logged on with at the moment. If you want to uh, go to a command prompt, you can confirm what you're currently logged on as. If we do, who am I? It will give you the computer name and then the logon name. So because I'm logging in with a Microsoft email account, Windows actually abbreviates it just to a, a smaller name just for the Windows logon. So we've got our details now. We're happy with them details. If you happen to be in a business where you log on to an Active Directory domain, you would change this section here to the name of the domain that you log into. I'm just at home on a workgroup PC, so I'm just going to leave it as the, the local computer name. And then I'm just going to enter the password. Now, you do have to make sure you enter the correct password here because it won't let you continue if you make a mistake with the password. So I'm just going to enter my password here. And then click Enable. We get a little confirmation dialog box to say it was uh, successfully configured and the auto logon password is encrypted. We can close that now. We're now set up to log on automatically. I'm just going to go ahead and test it. I'm just going to reboot and hopefully it should just reboot automatically to the desktop without prompting us for a username or password. And there we are, it signed us in automatically. Now we've still got the file on our desktop, so I'm just going to double click that and run that again. Uh, you can run this again in the future as many times as you like. Perhaps you want to change it to log on to a different user, or maybe you just want to disable it and go back to entering your username and password. I'm just going to disable it. Uh, we'll give it a reboot and just make sure that works. And there we are, it's prompting us to sign in with our PIN number again. 
and that's all there is to it so thanks for watching